So this is 5.1, find eigenvalues and eigenvectors part two. And really all I'm gonna do in this video is find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for a three by three. So we're gonna start off with finding the eigenvalues of the following matrix. To do that, we need to find Remember, we just subtract the lambdas across the diagonal. So we're going to have to find the determinant of this. And before I do, I do want to make some zeros appear first. And I do see we have opposites right here. These are in two different columns, though. We're going to row reduce this by using columns. Three. I add it to column two, and I replace it into column two. We should get a zero in the column two spot right there. So I'm adding these two together and putting it there, these two together, putting it there, these two, Since these two are identical, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to rows and zero that out right there. That'll zero that out. Minus row three, plus row two to row two. And so now finding the determinant will be much simpler. I will use this column. So we're gonna set the determinant equal to zero. And let's check our plus, minus. We do need to throw a negative in front of there. I'm gonna factor out a negative there. So we have lambda is equal to four and minus two, which is multiplicity of two. Let's start with lambda is four. We wanna solve. So one minus four is three. Or let's just go ahead and zero these out. Since these rows are identical, you should see that the, this row will zero out. But if you want to show that step, so as mentioned before, we got our row of zeros. It's a dependent solution. I'd be worried if you didn't get a dependent solution. We can maybe zero one more out. I'm going to zero that out. Maybe just go back here and make this a one or a negative one. Just gonna change that. Look at if I have a fraction there. Just multiplying that first row by a negative, not a big deal. So now my equations are one 
You could set my t equal to 2, and we can clear that fraction because it is a basis. And that's for my lambda is 4. Now let's do the same. Find the eigenvalues for second eigenvalue, minus 2. Here's my a minus lambda i, just so I can keep an eye on it. We're going to solve the same thing. So that looks like those last two rows are both going to zero out. And I will do one third R1 to R1 also. So it looks like we only have one equation. So since we can only solve x in terms of y, the two other variables, we have two parameters. So we use all three of these x, y, z, and we're going to write it in column form, so we have no s there, and we have no t there, so we do get two eigenvectors from this, they are independent, that's the end of the problem. If you want to check the trace, we should have probably checked the trace of A before we found the eigenvectors. But it looks like it worked out. So the sum of the diagonals. Looks like we get zero. We had three eigenvalues, minus two, four, minus two, lambda one. So the sum is the same as the trace. It worked out. So one more theorem before we're done. So this theorem says that if A is an n by n triangular matrix, and it could be either of these, it could be an upper triangular, a lower triangular, or even just a diagonal matrix. They're all triangular matrices then eigenvalues of A are the entries on the main diagonal. So let's just look at an example. So we're looking at a triangular matrix, and what this theorem says is that my lambdas are my entries along the main diagonal. So my lambdas are 3, 1, and 0. So we're, just, we're not going to prove this. We're just going to check this one. So let's check. We're going to check by finding our eigenvalues of this matrix by our process. So we're going to use, so let's set it up. Remember, we subtract our lambdas along the diagonal, and everything else is the same. So there's the determinant of A minus lambda I. Set that equal to zero, and be using this to find the determinant. Which I don't really need that minus zero. And look at that, we got the same lambdas. They're the same which is what the theorem said. I also just wanted to point out in this example, you see that we do have a lambda equals zero. And when we go to find the determinant of A, because we have a row of zeros, if we were gonna find the determinant of A, we can see the determinant's gonna be zero. So let's just write that note out. And then we also know does not exist. And that's it. Have a good day.